everybody we are back on the seventh continent um i what i did was i went through and uh, replayed restarted the scenario um starting from the very beginning and had the intent on um, finding the two gears for the submarine and taking that route um, ended up not really finding the submarine but did find um, the raft uh, through certain cards um, if you are interested in um, you know hearing my write-up about that experience I um, I do a blog um, on Patreon of all of my games that I don't record a video for. So if you are interested in checking that out, you can support me on Patreon for as cheap as a dollar a month, and that gives you access to all of my blog postings about all the games I play off camera um, for the Meeple Marathon. But basically, I you know discovered the raft, I crafted it, um, I also came across uh, a good number of food, which I built a fire, in that same area with the submarine and I built a fire, crafted a torch, I cooked the food, recovered like 12 cards, um, I prayed, all that stuff. So this is where we were at. I burned through quite a lot of cards, um, but I got quite a lot back. So I'm feeling pretty good. I understand now that finding food is integral to surviving on the island. I have my fish and mollusk here that you can see um, waiting that's going to give me four cards five if I can find a fire um, my torch and um, we're going to bring Elliot Pendleton back over here so let's go ahead and get started I have no idea now <clears throat> what I'm doing other than following uh, just to give you guys a heads up a reminder of what the, the curse says we should be doing we're essentially uh, kind of heading north now um, until we get to whatever that is and then we'll you know we'll head back west again but let's go ahead and get started here um, this says thinking ahead you take some time to ponder your possible options going forward to survive in this hostile environment one involved character may discard one card with the keyword will interesting because valiant hearts has the keyword will on it but it's a great card can't really see it because of the glare, but Will is right down there. Um, let's see if I can move that up a bit. Maybe you can see it better. Um, may discard a keyword card, one card with keyword Will from their hand or inventory in order to obtain one star during the result step of the following action. Um, okay, so it's a think action, zero successes just to get a star. Okay. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. That means I'm not even touching my action deck. This was essentially a, I'm not gonna get the 101 card bonus, which I think was just like an XP, but that's fine. We, we may see this card again. So I am discarding Will. And Eureka, one involved character may choose one card in the action deck or discard pile and add it to their hand. <coughs> so, Essentially, I could get that card right back, but um, <coughs> uh, what I really want is my, it's a personalized card. We had it in the last game, and I know I have seen it before. Hmm. Okay, so I know it's in the action deck. I know it's going to come back up again, so I'm actually going to go ahead and take Valiant Hearts right back into my hand. So that was actually quite handy. Um, at this point, I have passed. This was a limited time event, so we're going to put that away. And now I bring out card 90. This reads, in front of you, a sea turtle the size of a small child is crawling slowly along the beach. Okay. Well, wait a minute. It 
this is not where's the rest of the map you know you can see here this is like a permanent event here um, you can follow the turtle and see where it leads you so I guess I'm following the turtle um, so yeah this is gonna go right here I can take a ninja action I call it a ninja action they call it a be stealthy and hide action um, discard this and replace it with a 186 card okay all right so let's see what else we can do here we can check out 68 for free so let's go ahead and do that Sixty-eight reads, some sea turtles are swimming among the wreaths about 50 feet away. Huge, fierce waves crash loudly on the shore. On the side of the islet, the waves and the reefs would easily wreck a fragile skiff. So another permanent event, you consider swimming away from the islet, but you are not sure how long you would be able to withstand the cold and strong current. Why would I swim? I just tried to get here. You swim southward for a very long time. Okay, so again, this is another permanent event, but this almost seems like I'm swimming back to where I came from. I don't know why I would do that um, at this point. You know what I haven't done in a while is look for any hidden numbers. But I don't see any on this card, so. All right, we will stick this over here, but I don't think we're gonna be taking advantage of it anytime soon. And we'll go ahead and investigate. Now I have my torch here, which allows me to, this is a one action card, investigate action, zero stars. So I can use my torch, take it down to two to reduce the cost. And so again, this is another free one. So now let's check out 41. Forty-one. Someone was buried here. Two boards tied together with a leather cord form a rudimentary cross on which a brief epitaph died September 25th, 1906 was carved. You have never considered digging up a corpse until now. Your conch... Okay. Hmm. So again, another permanent event. If I want to, I have wood now, but I have nothing to craft. Um... So I could dig up the corpse um, if I had the shovel. So, all right. So this is interesting. This is different from the first ones that uh, are that first little island. So I guess we're going to check out the sea turtles. Um, now we need to be stealthy. We need to get at least one star. I have my Valiant Hearts if I need to use it. So let's just draw one card and see if there is one success on it. And look at that. Forewarned is forearmed. You may discard this. All right, so I'm definitely gonna save this because I don't have much in the way of skill cards at the moment. And I successfully um, am tracking the turtle. So I'm gonna discard this and replace it with a 186 card. So that goes away permanently. And 186. You follow the sea turtle that swims along the sandy beach before diving away through the waves. A towering, menacing looking stone statue looms at the east end of the islet. As far as you can tell, it has barely been able to stand the test of time. Okay. So I literally had to follow around a turtle just to get him to come here. So I'll let you guys take a look at that real quick. That is what we are looking at. And again, like the curse just makes it seem like I should be able to move on straight north from here. But this would make it feel like I am stuck on an island again. So maybe I am going to have to come back out here and swim, but 
All right, so I've discovered this. There's a lot of action going on here. I definitely want to investigate that island or that statue. 48, 186. Yeah, I just don't get it. See, this is going to make me want to replay this game uh, and figure out where the submarine may have taken me because maybe I would have bypassed this island if I had gotten on the gotten into the submarine, but all right, so let's take a walk action. I just need one card. No successes. Examine the notes. Oh, I'll take me a few moments to study the notes that you and your companions took during the previous expedition to the seventh continent. I can take a decipher action and take up to 250 cards. Keep one and return the other one. Okay. So, I don't know if that's worth anything right now, but we are going to keep it because I can have up to five. This music just keeps coming in loud and then back out again. All right, so let's see. We've got lots to discover here. We've got several points of interest. One is a spot and observe, and the other one is a go see and investigate action and then a prey action. So let's, oh, I don't know. Let's go prey first. So that one is also going to cost us one. And we got, ooh, friction fire. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to keep Friction Fire for now. Um, just hold on to that. I can easily make fire with my torch. Um, but let's go ahead and see what we're praying for. So 235. Okay. This says, despite its poor condition, the idol is still quite awe-inspiring. If any one involved character has a flag card in their inventory, you may apply the following effect. I don't think so. Nope. Okay. You may apply the following effect, but I don't have that. Instead of revealing this, you may return it and place in place of it, take the card whose number is 235 plus that. Okay. I don't have that. I don't have anything like that. So we are flipping this over. You decide to ignore the uneasy feeling that inspires in you and kneel to meditate for a moment. Immediately after this is revealed, take a 49, another flag I don't have, card from the adventure deck if available. A character that is bloody or poisoned can either take nor get involved in the following action. I was poisoned, but I cured myself. Uh, gift. I get a offering. I can't worry, I can make an offer. Um, okay. So I'm going to start off by taking a 49 card first. Okay. As you silently meditate, strange twisted visions begin to shape your mind. Whoa! You are spinning among a swirling canvas of bright lights and colors. You're combination and pattern is disconcerting your stomach begins to heave and you start sweating uncontrollably you're convinced that the statue is trying to devour you but luckily the visions eventually fade the feeling of dread however still lingers each involved character takes a one-on-one -on -one card except for those that are tired i'm not um take one curse card from the discard pile and shuffle it back into the action deck okay all right so there's that one um Basically, there's some funky stuff going on here with this idol. And this clue card is just worthless. All right, so I take a 101 card first. You are feeling increasingly drowsy and struggle to stay awake. You cannot wait to find a safe, comfortable place to rest. Okay, I am now tired. All right. I have to lose a card because of this symbol right here. Um, and then if I take a rest action, which my raft down here can give me, um, I can return that. But I need to get two successes. So 
I'm losing pan pipes. I've had to discard that. This goes up here for now, and I am tired. Meditation wore me out. But at this point, I am going to go ahead and give a offering, which is free. <coughs> uh, you make you make a slit in your hand and spread your blood on the statue. Take an O, take two O three cards. Okay. Okay, so they're basically two two experience points. They're going to go in my satchel and journal over here, along with my others. That makes three total. And each involved character takes a 105 card. I have a feeling like this is going to be like a bleeding card. Uh, your clothes are covered in blood. Whether yours or that of a dead animal, both pose their own risks. So now I am bloody. Now that is a... I'm not really sure what this means. Do I just have to take a swim action? And then I lose my bloodied status? Anytime I get in the water? Can I just jump in now? I have my raft nothing else to use it for. That's interesting. I have to look into that. Um, okay. So before we move any further, let's go ahead and rest to get rid of our tired status here. So again, you can see that I am allowed to rest. Um, I need two successes and my raft is going to give me two successes by resting on it. So I don't even need to draw a card. I'll just tick down my raft. Two automatic successes. Um, and I get to return this to the box. All right, so I'm no longer tired. I took a nice nap. And let's check out what these other ones are. They're both free investigate type actions. So let's see what 65 has to offer us. Okay, 65 is, the waves lap gently on the beach. The sea is calm and there are no reefs near this part of the beach. The only thing you fear is the temperature of the water. Heading west, you move towards the open sea at a quick pace. Oh wait, okay. All right, so if I depart from this beach, it seems a lot calmer. And I am doing a two plus to get six. If I go over here, I feel like it says southward, which is back where I came from. And you have to get nine. So if I'm doing any swim and it's going this direction, and I have my raft, so I'm not too concerned about it. All right. And then I can get rid of bloody too, because I'm getting in the water. All right, let's see what this one is. And then we'll go for a swim. Okay, uh, this reads 121. As you examine the sandy beach, you notice a strange yellowish globes half buried in the sand. Uh, the half buried globes are turtle eggs. They are too fragile to be transported, but you can easily eat them here and now. So I could take a eat action. Right? I'm assuming what, that's what a fork and knife, yeah, eat, drink, action. Um, you would not call it a gourmet meal, but it's certainly better than nothing. Randomly take four cards from your discard pile. All right, so I need to get at least one success. Hmm. Okay. So, hmm. Now there is a yellow card in the box. I don't see how I would not have noticed that that was there when I drew this one out. Which means, and you can see that the symbol here, if I'm successful, it it flips to the yellow card. So there's a chance I could like piss off that giant sea turtle that led me over here. Um, and that could lead, result in some bad karma on my behalf. 
So I'm actually just going to leave the turtle eggs alone. Maybe that will, maybe the sea turtle will come along and tote my raft here in a second. So the only thing I have not done is dug up uh, the corpse. And I also don't feel like I want to do that right now either. So, or do I? All right, now I'm gonna leave those two things alone. I'm gonna leave them be, and let's go swimming. Okay, so I have got lots. I've got three stars I can get here. It's not doing me any good. Um, three stars and two stars from my raft. So I am actually just going to draw let's see here with a blue banner plus six plus five okay so I'm going to be going for 75 all right let's draw three cards if we can one two three four five yeah possibly saving saving some of these state cards. So we're gonna go ahead and do three, knowing that I can almost certainly succeed. All right, so here are our three. We have a club for one star, a woven basket for one star, and war paint, which I can combine. So there's three. I'm getting two from my raft, so I will need to discard uh, forewarned is forearmed. To get to six um, and this will allow me to keep one of these war paint kind of giving me stealth this obviously is for fighting and unlocking doors the woven basket really I don't I don't see the benefit I think we're going to keep the club for now. And I also took a swim action, so I'm just going to go ahead and put bloody back. I will look that up, and if that's not how it works, then I will bring it back into my hand. Okay. All right, so I washed off. I don't need the woven basket, and I have successfully... I am going up to card 75 because I used my raft. Okay. Alright, 75 has nothing on the back. Uh, you launch your craft and move further and further away from the islet. Aided by the current, you move at a steady pace. After a few hours, you begin to make out the wild coast of the seventh continent. I thought I was already on the seventh continent. Return all the cards on the board and in the past. Put a 198 card into play. Each player places their figure onto it. Return all the cards on the board and in the past. Okay. Put a 198 card out. So... All this stuff is gone. I have sailed away from it, which is fine. And bring out a 198. Okay. Make sure there's not more than one. Yeah, see, like, where's 197? Did I already pull out 197? Okay, this reads, you arrive at a stony stretch of ground running between the face of a glacier to the north and a cliff to the south. It gently slopes down to the edge of the ocean. All right, so there are some penguins here. I see another sea turtle. I don't see any, you know what? I forgot to even look to see if there was any numbering on this last card. I 
don't see any hidden numbers. Okay. Um, and I don't see any here. Okay, so there is the card. You can see the penguins are down here. Sea turtles right there. Um, all right, so we are now on the seventh continent. I will return all these off camera. But we will position this over here. Do that, maybe. We have one direction to go, essentially. There. Oh, and this takes snowshoes. We are in the snow. A snowshoe action. Which I guess I can take normally. But if I had my snowshoes, it'd make it easier. Okay. So I can take the action, charge through the snow. It's going to take me two cards instead of the usual one. All right. So I think this is a good stopping point. I know this was a slightly shorter video, but. Um, that sometimes can be a good thing. I don't want these to drag on too, too long. And this is an excellent kind of point to uh, wrap it up. It'll give me some time to return this big stack of cards here that is in the past back to the box. Um, a little tidying up. And we will continue this um, hopefully tomorrow. So if you feel like I made any mistakes or if you feel like I should have dug up the grave, should I have eaten the turtle eggs, Please feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment below. If you are enjoying this video or this video series, please consider giving it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel if you want to be notified when um, this next video comes out. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, have a wonderful evening. And that's it. Signing off.